Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to install cube apps on a Kubernetes cluster using Helm. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes, allowing you to package, configure, and deploy applications and services onto Kubernetes clusters. Cube apps provides a complete application delivery environment that allows you to deploy and upgrade applications, as I'm going to show later on, all in a few clicks. To follow this tutorial, you need to have a Kubernetes cluster running. Cube Apps has been tested with Azure Kubernetes Service, Google Kubernetes Engine, Minikube, and Docker for Desktop. You also need to have Helm installed version 2.10 or higher, and you need to have administrative access to the cluster to be able to create custom resource definitions. We are going to follow these steps. First, we're going to install Cube Apps, then we are going to deploy an application, then we are going to upgrade the application, and then we are going to perform a rollback. First, we are going to add the Bitnami repo, which contains Cube Apps to Helm. And now let's install Cube Apps. To be able to access Cube Apps on your local host, we need to forward the port from the pod to the local host. This can be done by copying these commands. And let's visit the web page to check if it's running. Now we need to create a token to be able to access Cube Apps. This requires running a few long commands, which I'm going to copy and paste from the Getting Started guide on the Cube Apps GitHub page. You can just copy and paste these two commands from step two, create a Kubernetes API token. In the terminal, I'm still forwarding the ports and I don't want to stop forwarding. So let's open a new tab to run the commands. And now let's run the commands to obtain the token. And copy and paste the token in the login page. Now we have logged in and everything is set up to deploy our first app. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of applications from the Bitnami catalog you can deploy. Bitnami is a leader in application packaging, providing a large catalog of click to deploy applications and development stacks. In this example, I'm going to install WordPress. I want to show you how to upgrade an application. So let's install the second last version and click on deploy. There are many parameters you can change like the username, the password and the title. So let's use another title here.
It's also possible to edit the values YAML here and directly see which changes are made. For example, if I change the WordPress username here, you can see a diff with the changes in the changes tab. And if I go back to the form, you can see the username has been changed. So let's deploy with these changes. Now the application is being deployed. As you can see here, it's already showing a message that an update is possible. The deployment is ready. And here you can see various credentials for MySQL and the application itself. So I'm going to copy it so we can log in later. Let's click on the link to visit the application. You can see the title we changed here. And let's log in with the credentials we copied before. Here it shows a message that we are not using the latest WordPress version and it prompts us to update. But we are going to update to the latest version using QBAPS. So we are back on the QBAPS page. Let's click on update and then on submit. So let's check out the pod statuses using kubectl get pods so we can see how it updates. Here you can see a new pod is being created with the latest WordPress version. Now the update is ready. Let's visit the application again. Now you can see that WordPress is using the latest version. What if you want to roll back the update? That's also possible with a few clicks. Just click on roll back. Choose the version here. Now it's ready. Let's visit the admin page again. Now you can see we're using an older version. So that's all for now. We have successfully installed QBAPS and we have deployed, updated and rolled back an application on Kubernetes with a few clicks.